Hey, thank you so much, uh, Michael. I appreciate it. Uh, and folks, uh, I really do uh, appreciate your time uh, this morning and jumping on and learning more about Ring and what we're doing in the Install Solutions channel. Uh, I want to start with people. I think the people uh, uh, make the difference. And uh, we now have a team uh, that can support uh, distribution and ADI in particular throughout the country, something we've never done in the past, right? So we have uh, Mark Lee in the East Coast, we have Rich Way out of the Central Region, and then we have Roman uh, Zarita uh, on, the, um, on the West Coast. So uh, we have an actual team that can support you, and that's where we're really kind of excited about it. Uh, the other is that we have actually products that are specific to the Pro Channel. Uh, the X line and Rich is going to talk about the X line of products that is specific again for the pro channel. Um, the ring access controller pro the ability to open up a gate from within the ring app. So, um, you know, I just want to let you know that we do have products that are specific for you and I appreciate the time you guys have spent. And so uh, really without further ado, let's uh, have Rich uh, kick it over to Rich and we'll go from there. Hey guys, thank you, Todd, for that awesome introduction. Again, my name is Rich Way. I am the Central Region Manager of Ring. Um, and as you can see, here's my contact information. But uh, because I'm not selfish, uh, I wanted to put up everyone's uh, information. So on the screen in front of you, you can see uh, the territory map that includes all of our contact information. So if you're in the West, uh, contact Roman. If you're in the Central, you can use my contact info. And then of course on the East Coast, you can contact Mark, uh, who is also on the call. Um, I'll leave this up for just another couple of seconds so you can take this down. Um, I will have resources at the end of this for you guys to be able to see and download and, and save to your phone or your device or your laptop or whatever you, whatever you need to help you um, manage your ring business. So today we're gonna cover uh, Kind of the ring entity as a whole uh, cover our neighbors app which is a great pre-sales tool the professional line which is of course the x line what we're talking about mainly today uh, then we'll round out the rest of our product lines including alarm uh, smart lighting uh, and the like and then the ring app with appropriate changes and then we'll finish up with some q a and let aj kind of round us out so kind of the reason we're here has always been to make neighborhoods safer. Um, ever since the beginning um, of Ring, it's always been centered around how we go to market. Um, if it helps to make a neighbor feel safe at home or anywhere where they are, uh, that's the product that we want to be interested in. So uh, Ring has been around since 2014 in a small two-car office in Santa Monica. Uh, and you may have even seen Jamie on Shark Tank uh, a long time ago with the original DoorBot. Today, uh, we've kind of grown, right? We're in over 100 countries. We have 2,500 team members uh, based in California, Arizona. Uh, I'm based in Chicago, kind of all around the globe. Right now, there's about approximately 3.6 billion Ring doorbell dings and motion recordings happening every month. Uh, and last year, Ring devices caught or deterred over 3,000 individual crimes and incidents. In fact, another little feather in our cap is in uh, over the holiday season, we were the number one selling brand among all home automation brands during the holidays in 2019. You know, in fact, six of the top 10 selling SKUs uh, were in the ring category of the doorbells, floodlight cams, and, and the like. So if we like to think of our business in three rings of security. Uh, first is the front door. We believe security starts here, right? It's generally the most traffic door in the house. It's most often where your packages get delivered, right? So Ring Video Doorbell uh, was created around improving the security and visibility of this area of the home. Then secondly, we expand that into home security. So another ring of security by being alerted to motion um, or entry into your home or yard beyond just the front door. So we created security cameras, alarms, smart lighting, uh, all in an effort to make your homes feel safer. And then finally, our mission to make neighborhoods safer uh, and the Ring Neighbors app helps accomplish this. Uh, Ring Neighbors app uh, can be found directly within the Ring app. However, uh, if you're going to a homeowner and you wanted to uh, give them an opportunity to experience Ring without having a Ring device, you can still get all the benefits and alerts, uh, have them download the free Neighbors by Ring app. Uh, you can join the neighborhood, get real-time crime and safety alerts from your neighbors, law enforcement, and the Ring team. Uh, it's super simple, 
have them create an account, uh, input their address and get up to date alerts on the activity around the neighborhood and your ring neighbors. So when you go and pitch ring to a, a homeowner and you're not wanting to be in the home yet, or you wanting to bring all the products out at, at once while you're on the phone and having the consultation, have the homeowner download these, uh, this app and then see what's going on in their neighborhood. And then before you get out to the job site, you can simply say, how did you enjoy the ring neighbors? Is there any other areas that you may want to consider covering the home? So raging that um, average sell price from just the front door to maybe covering the garage um, or the pool house or the pool to provide safety for uh, if there's anyone in the pool or if there's any uh, ability that you wanted to look at it while you're out on vacation. So the next category is, of course, the Ring X line. Uh, we around, announced this at CES this year. Uh, the X brand, it refers to a bundle of benefits, right? Rather than the products themselves. This line is designed with a professional installer in mind. Each bundle is built around a premium doorbell or security camera and includes premium packaging, uh, the Ring Protect Basic plan for the lifetime of the device and a three-year limited warranty, all wrapped up into the cost of the product. So while our product lineup is vast, we're partnering with Savant to uh, have the X-Line integration coming very, very shortly. So you can check out more of the offerings on ring.com. So the, the, we'll talk about the video doorbells first. The biggest difference between our lineup of doorbells is simply going to be the power source. So it's a good practice to understand what the customer's current doorbell setup is and direct the sale from there. So if they have an existing doorbell, uh, recommend the Video Doorbell Pro X. Uh, new homes remodels, they're perfect for the Elite X. And then of course, if they needed a battery powered product, we have the brand new uh, Video Doorbell 3 Plus X. Uh, it's the hardwired solution for the doorbell because it eliminates the battery. It's able to be much sleeker uh, than the original uh, Ring Video Doorbell 1 or 2. So it, it also has dual band Wi-Fi as well. And this actually has a uh, product called pre-roll. So it's one of the first battery products on the market that allows you to see who's there before the, before the alert happens. So it essentially a, uh, about four seconds before the video uh, motion is triggered, it'll dump that into a live video to see what happened before the motion was triggered. So most products that are battery powered will only give you motion of what happens when the motion is triggered. This product will allow you to do that pre-roll, which is kind of hard, all of our hardwired products have that built in, but this is one of the first battery powered products that do that. So the Ring Video Doorbell Pro uh, is your hardwired solution, right? It's the gold standard for the products that you sell. If they have a hard wire, you wanna go with the Pro. The main difference is the customizable motion detection. So unlike the Ring Video Doorbell, um, three plus and before, instead of using PIR heat based motion, this actually is pixel based. So you can draw a heat map of what you want to see. So you want to see just the driveway or you want to see um, the front yard and ignore the flag flying. You can do that with the Video Doorbell Pro. Moving to the Video Doorbell Elite, uh, it's made for customers that are remodeling or building new homes. Um, it's built in solution with a single gang flush mount solution. It's the slimmest and most premium looking device that, that Ring offers. Plus it's PoE. So it has a hard line wired connection to the internet, meaning it won't lose connectivity, but it is also versatile. So it can run off of PoE, but still use the Wi-Fi network. So if you can't actually get to the network switch, you can power it via ethernet, but then have it run off the Wi-Fi in the home. One additional benefit that the Ring Elite X has over the standard Ring Elite is that it includes a redemption code on, in the box for you or your customer. They go to ring.com, they pick one of the 10 premium metal face plates from Rocky Mountain Hardware. Uh, it's $129 value. Uh, then Ring will ship them directly uh, to you or your homeowner at no charge. There's another product uh, for professionals. They're the Ring Access Controller Pro. It's a new way to secure your home and package delivery. The Access Controller Pro use, is powered by Key by Amazon and will integrate directly within the Ring app to remotely grant access to visitors and receive eligible Amazon deliveries if they wanted to. It's hardwired and it has to be professionally installed. 
it utilizes an existing relay door or gate strike um, or a gate lift um, using the wagon control or a simple relay. You can control up to four doors with this product and you can open up the door directly from the Ring app. And this product can handle two wagon control and two relay control. So uh, a, a potential of four doors per Ring Access Controller Pro. They have two different versions, a cellular and an ethernet. The cellular version is actually built into our Ring Elite X Access Controller Pro bundle. And that utilizes the AT&T network at no additional access fee. If you had a hardwired network connection, say you wanted this inside of an IT closet, or you had an ability to get an ethernet to the relay or the Access Controller Pro, then you would use the ethernet version. Uh, they're both available AD, at ADI, and the bundle includes the cellular version. So here's a lineup of our security cameras on the X-Line. So all of the products have 1080p video, a live view, a two-way talk, night vision, and a user-initiated siren. Um, but taking a look at each one of them specifically, this is going to be your dark horse. This is the Stick Up Cam Elite, uh, extremely flexible. I, I cannot recommend using this camera over any of the camera as much as I do, because uh, it takes the flexibility of a Stick Up Cam uh, and it adds an even better camera and power over Ethernet. So you, now you have an indoor outdoor POE camera solution, uh, eliminating those pesky Wi-Fi dead zones outside uh, and not having to change batteries, not having to buy a solar panel. It allows you to place the camera anywhere you want um, with the Elite X nomenclature. So the homeowner doesn't pay a monthly fee after you're done installing this project. Again, if you guys have questions, um, ask them in the chat. I've got Mark online. He's gonna be helping moderate um, and we'll answer those at the Q&A at the end of it. Um, and then we'll, we'll bring things up and, and Mark, feel free to chime up if there's something that really needs to be important on this one, on this one uh, page. So Spotlight Cam uh, is extremely versatile security camera with, with a light. So it can be powered in four different ways, but the uh, X-Line version uh, is wired, which means it has a 20 foot umbilical cord you plug into an outlet or mounted, which is a single gang outlet into the high volt. So you may need to have, it, have an electrical license to be able to install that. Both feature 375 lumens of light, uh, operates off 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, and then has a 270 degree field of view and a 30 foot uh, field of custom motion zones that you're able, just like the Pro and the Elite. And then lastly, the kind of the gold standard, the floodlight cam. The floodlight cam X, it's a perfect camera to replace an existing floodlight and see what's going on in the yard and the driveway or the deck. It's got 1800 lumens uh, and it can be triggered externally from you have motion for the light to turn on, you've got motion for the camera to turn on. And again, all of these have a user enabled siren. So if there's something you see in the background or on the camera that you don't want, uh, that you want to bring attention to directly from the app, you can initiate a siren to emanate from the camera lens itself. So next, uh, we're going to move on to the Ring Alarm, the recently redesigned uh, Ring Alarm 2.0. Uh, just a little feather in our cap, we were rated by JD Power & Associates, the number one rated in DIY security. But DIY doesn't necessarily mean do it yourself. As, as some of my higher end integrators like to say, the worst part about DIY is the fact that you have to do it yourself. So if you wanna take an old weekend off and go and mess with sensors and all that stuff, that's fine for them. But that's why you guys exist, to be able to take that product and give them a professionally installed solution with a DIY product. It just means that you can install it that much faster and easier. So the Ring Alarm Gen 2 takes everything great about the Gen 1 and applies uh, the custom feedback that we've got to improve them. So a new keypad now has quick access buttons to call emergency services and the motion detector and the new patented motion detection technology with the exception of the base station, everything's been shrunken down by 36 to 38% of the size of the first generation. So I actually have the first generation here on my camera and you can see that it is, you know, a little bulky, but it's still, it still has been great. And this is the new camera and I'll hold them up side by side. So they were shrunken down by a significant amount. So at ADI, you have access to the eight-piece kit, which includes a base station, keypad, motion detector, contact, uh, four contact sensors, and a range extender. But 
What if you already have a wired alarm system? So now you can make it smart by including the Ring Retrofit Alarm Kit. Uh, it's a wired to wireless bridge that conveniently connects your existing hardwired contact sensors to your Ring Alarm system via Z-Wave tech. So now uh, your customers who are hesitant to switch because of either high startup cost or they already have all their wires or you wanted to use a wired solution, now you can use that with the Ring Retrofit Alarm Kit. Uh, this kit has eight zones. And if you had more than eight zones that were wired, you can essentially add additional ring retrofit kits to, to add another bank of eight zones. A few additional products that round out the alarm product category. Uh, so there's a smoke and carbon monoxide listener uh, that's placed next to your existing fire alarm or smoke, uh, I'm sorry, carbon monoxide detector. And it will let the base station know if an alarm is sounding. So there's also a flood and freeze sensor, which can be placed to alert you of any water damage issues. And you can add a solar security sign in the front yard or a panic button that can be mounted, say, beside a bedside table and alert the authorities based on the button press. But it's not just ring accessories. Through Z-Wave, uh, technology ring alarm has the ability to connect with smart door locks from Schlage, Quickset, Yale, uh, outlets and switches from Levitt and GE, Honeywell, uh, and even fire alarms from First Alert to, uh, to in order to protect your home in one simple to use application. In addition, uh, install the Ring skill on any Amazon um, Alex A device for voice control of the alarm, attach sensors and attach accessories. So when unlocking a door, disarming the alarm, um, Alex A that uh, will ask you for additional voice pen that a neighbor will set up to provide additional security for voice verification. So right now, um, Amazon has about 61% of the VPA market. So if your homeowner has this product, go the extra step and make sure they set it up on Amazon so they can control it with their voice. Every single night when I go to sleep, I say, Alex, hey, good night. And it arms the alarm, it locks the door, turns out the lights. It's, it's very, very simple and very easy to use. So we're gonna move on to the models of the doorbell um, that are not X-Line to kind of help round it out. So we have a host of new and expanded product features in 2020. Um, so here's a few major ones that concern doorbells and security cameras. One of them is advanced motion detection. So it's a software feature we brought into battery powered devices and now it's available on all doorbells and security cameras. So adding motion verification makes motion detection even more accurate, reduces unwanted motion notifications, trims recordings if motion stops uh, if before the recording ends. And then we also enabled people only mode. It's another new feature. We've expanded our entire lineup of doorbells and security cameras so they only get alerted when there's a person at the door. And then near motion zones were added uh, to our battery powered devices and it gives you more relevant notifications with a sensor that is angled more down to eliminate, to eliminate unwanted motion being detected. So our lineup of video doorbells that are non X line, these are products that are available everywhere, um, but additionally you can, you can get them at ADI. Uh, the, as I said, the main benefit between all of these is the power source. Uh, the video doorbell, which is a second generation, which I believe launched yesterday, um, is changed from 720p to 1080p. It's got a retail price of $99, and you can do adjustable motion zones from 5 to 30 feet, as opposed to the 15 to 30 feet, which, was, which we had before. But it does have a built-in battery, and if you do not have it hardwired, you have to take it down, take it inside, charge it, and then bring it back out. If you didn't want to do that, you would go with the video doorbell um, video doorbell 2, not the video doorbell Gen 2, the video doorbell 2 that has a detachable battery. One of the biggest reasons customers don't buy the Ring doorbells is that they own an apartment or aren't able to install one. The people cam solves that issue and installs in the same hole as your people attaches to, allowing for very easy and very fast installation. I installed this at our last Cedia. It took me 45 seconds from unscrewing the peephole and installing this product itself. It's also the only doorbell product with a knock with an impact sensor. Uh, so it allows you to know when someone's knocking at the front door if they didn't want to press the button. So in view of privacy, we also have custom, customizable privacy zones which black out areas. So you don't want to look into a neighbor's window or a neighbor's door, you can actually block that out. So the video doorbell three improves over the ring video doorbell two by bringing the adjustable motions from five feet uh, versus 15. 
and then adding dual band Wi-Fi for better connectivity to the home internet. You can see here uh, the video doorbell comparison of all of our products. Um, again, you can screenshot this or I will have um, assets at the end of this webinar that you can access our Dropbox that has all of these comparison sheets. I'll give you another couple of seconds here to see what the difference is between them, between them all. All right, moving on to the Chime and the Chime Pro. They were both updated uh, this last month with, new, with a new look. The Chime Pro has also added a nightlight and dual band Wi-Fi for the, uh, to the outgoing model. So moving on to our security cameras, uh, you can see we've got lots and lots of options uh, to kind of help round out whatever the homeowner needs. Um, again, all of them have HD video. Uh, they all have live view with two-way talk, night vision, a user-enabled siren. Um, taking a look at each one of them specifically, the indoor cam is the least expensive product on the market that we have at $59 or $59.99. So it's a perfect entry model camera that allows you to start securing your home or add to existing ring equipment. So it can rest on a stand or you can take the stand off and mount it to the wall to add visibility to any room in the home. It is powered via micro USB. There is no battery, but it does have that ad advanced motion detection. Moving on to the spotlight cam. As I said before, that we have many different versions, but the battery and the um, plug-in, there's a couple of differences that you can see on the screen. One being the lights are not as bright as the plug-in versions. Uh, you can add a solar panel to the spotlight cam battery, which makes it a spotlight cam solar. And then you don't have the customizable motion zones. Again, here's a security camera comparison. I'll leave this on the screen for just a, for just a minute to uh, let you see the differences between them all. One thing to kind of remember, if it is hardwired, and meaning it's, it receives its power not from a battery, you get that advanced motion detection. If it is battery powered, you have a just um, PIR motion detection. So you're not gonna get as good of motion detection, but it's better than nothing. So last year, we introduced Ring Smart Lighting of our, our, our lineup of products. And all these devices, they connect to the Ring app when used with the Ring Bridge, which is required for every single lighting job. Um, taking a look at them closer, it all starts with the bridge. So the Ring Bridge is very, very small. I don't believe I have one to show you, uh, but it is, you know, essentially, actually, it's about the size of an AirPod case. Uh, and it will broadcast wireless network 900 megahertz up to 1,000 feet. So 500 feet on each side. The motion detector, um, it discreetly detects motion anywhere to trigger lights. I do have one of those. Uh, very, very small, fits inside of a mailbox. It operates off of three AAA batteries and will alert you of any motion. And once you link the zone, if this product detects motion, you can have the lights turn on. You can have Alex A announce that there's some motion in, let's say the mailbox or in the front driveway uh, in a very, very discreet motion detector. Additionally, you can have cameras trigger to turn on as well. So it's very uh, weatherproof casing, very, very small, runs off of uh, three AAA batteries. Then the Steplight Solar is coming out, I believe, at the end of, uh, Todd and Mark, you might correct me, I believe it is coming out next month. Um, one of the biggest requests for our smart lighting products, obviously we have our battery powered products, uh, with the step light battery using 3C batteries, but now we've added the solar panel. So it's brighter than the non-solar version, adds a dust to dawn feature and allows it to shine all night long. So the battery for the product is removable and rechargeable via micro USB. So if you have a period of time without enough sun and the battery goes dead, you can take it inside and charge it. The path light Solar is very similar to the non-solar version, but you do, again, it gets brighter light, dust to dawn features, um, and a rechargeable battery as well. The Floodlight Solar is very similar to the battery powered product, except instead of using four D batteries, it uses our Ring Quick Disconnect battery. Actually, there's, there's two compartments inside, and a solar panel is attached to it. So now it's two times brighter than the battery version and uh, allows you to mount it up higher without having to run up there every six months and changing the battery out. 
So if you already have a ring camera and you wanted to add additional lighting, say there's a, there's a dumb floodlight around the corner and you don't want to add another floodlight cam, the wired smart light floodlight adds 2000 lumens to help that camera see better. Additionally, it also has a motion detector to be able to link those devices. And then lastly, this is kind of the dream setup that I would want you to go in a pitch to your clients. So start with the bridge, $49, add a motion sensor, I believe that is $29. And then you can add the hardwired transformer. This transformer is uh, very unique in the fact that it is up to 200 watts of 12 to 15 volt low voltage LED lighting. So if your homeowner already has existing lighting, you can simply replace that transformer or buy some really high profit, high margin um, LED lights, landscaping lights, um, say from coastal source. And then you can simply power that product via this transformer. This transformer is weatherproof casing. Um, it is very massive. It has a big giant toroidal transformer inside of it weighing about 10 pounds. But you can have this product and instead of using something like a spotlight cam, that has additional, additional power and then having to drill into the side of the wall to plug it in or using a floodlight cam. While these products are awesome on their own, when you're getting into a higher level of installation and you wanna be able to differentiate yourself from them going online and buying it, you can do what's called uh, linked devices. So from that linked device, you can use the ring transform and a stick up cam elite X as linked devices. Once that stick up cam elite X detects motion, those lights will turn on, giving you a much better view of lighting since the entire backyard is lit. And then the Stick Up Cam Elite X is a lot smaller in profile. So it gives you a more discreet layer of security uh, and then gives you a better outlook with your client to be able to offer them something that they would not have figured out by themselves, which means you can charge more. All right, we're stepping into the Ring app and some of the updates that we've done. Um, we believe that your information is yours and yours alone. So as a company built to protect the most private spaces in people's lives, uh, every action we take is guided by respect for your neighbor's privacy and security. The police, Amazon, Ring, anyone else, they don't have rights or access to the walled garden that you've helped create. So what we've done is we've encrypted our private videos. So this helps protect your videos from unauthorized people viewing them. We've also restricted video access. So you're completely in control of who you grant access to. And then we have secure video storage with a protect plan that's already included in the X line or if you wanted to pay additionally, those videos are securely stored in the cloud and could be deleted at any point. So your videos additionally after 60 days will be permanently deleted from our servers. So some of the things that we've done over the last few months uh, to improve is including mandatory two-step verification. So this layer helps prevent unauthorized access to your Ring account by having every time there's a new login, either to an email or a phone number. Now you can have one access from the um, notifications panel of choosing who to share your account with. So you have control over which Ring devices they can access and you can remove the user at any point. So perfect for your homeowners that have say Airbnbs or um, rental homes, they wanna give access to the renter. They can simply assign them as a shared user. They create their own account. They can view and, and talk to the camera. Then when, the, then when they leave the pro property, you can uncheck and remove them as a shared user from any of the cameras or the alarm. So anytime you, um, someone logs in, you can receive an email notification every single time someone tries to access the account. And then uh, we take additional steps to monitor and block potentially unauthorized login attempts to your Ring account. So within this control center, uh, it allows you to view and control uh, important privacy and security settings from one dashboard within the Ring app. So you can verify all of your devices from one screen that are logged onto the Ring account to say your desktop, an Android device or an iPhone device. So you can click remove all to force all devices to log out and log back in. So you can manage the linked account so you can view and manage the services you authorize to link your Ring account via Ring author authorization, uh, like Alex A, uh, IFTTT, um, Savant, uh, those you can remove those individual services at any point. And then neighbors, they're easily able to opt out of receiving video request notifications at any, at any point before they even happen. And then lastly, um, there's a lot of uh, really great things about Ring. And there's usually only about four things that can go wrong with a Ring product to, to 
impede the service. Number one is network. Number two is network. Uh, number three is network. And number four, the battery dies. So if you don't have a robust network, which I strongly uh, ask that you do, um, say an Eero device, um, mesh networking system, um, something that will get you the, the uh, Wi-Fi performance that you need out of that home, and now you're talking about networking to your client, raising that average sale price that while you're on the job, um, there's another version of, or a companion app called Rapid Ring. So it's a light version of the classic Ring app with most of the features stripped out, except for um, device statuses and the ability to activate live view and respond to event as quickly as possible. By using the Rapid Ring app, instead of the original Ring app, you'll be able to answer those notifications as quickly as possible. So think of it as a companion. You know, the, the Ring app is great for uh, managing users and doing everything else, but if you want to get to that notification as quick as possible, you can enable it via the, the Rapid Ring app. So to round out the Ring Protect plans, uh, there is no monthly fee that you have to use when, when selling Ring product. So we have multiple options for the customers to secure the home. For the free service, uh, Simple provides a great value, right? You have Protect Basic that adds um, the ability to save videos to, in the cloud for 60 days. You can download them, share them, um, share them to the neighbor's app, share them to Facebook, um, text them to your friends. I know my neighbor and I like to text funny videos that we see on our cameras all, this, all the time. And then finally, the Protect Plus plan. It's $10 a month or $100 a year, and it allows you to have 24-7 uh, professional monitoring and then covers all of the cameras that are non-X-Line. Keep in mind, though, when you do purchase the X-Line, that included price includes a Protect Basic plan for the life of the device, and that product is transferable. So if you, have a, if you sell your product uh, or if your homeowner gives the product to, say, their kids, that X-Line subscription follows the device, not the account. So if you have, say, uh, a Ring Pro X, and then they go with the Ring Alarm, they pay the $10 a month. When they decide to deactivate that alarm or go to self-monitoring, they won't then have to pay the $3 a month for the Protect Basic plan. And a reminder, I'm sure all of you know about it, but the, we stand by our products and we stand by our neighborhoods and our mission statements. So if that Ring product is ever stolen at any time after the purchase, uh, we'll replace the product for free. So if you provide a, we also provide a limited warranty, which is one year or three year if it's an X-Line product. Um, if at any point this product is stolen, fill, up, fill out a police report and then email us at theft at ring.com. One additional thing, this is for you guys. We have, uh, when we all joined Ring, which is about a year ago, um, we wanted to bring some things that made an authentic difference to you. So one of them, the, the big one outside of the X line was a dedicated installer line. This number on the screen is for you guys, not for the consumers. Um, this gives you the second layer of technical support beyond the, have you plugged it in? Have you verified the email? You know, that type of stuff. When you're, getting, when you're in the weeds and you need to talk to somebody, use this number, 1-888-461-9718. You can also email us at help at ring.com or chat with us live on our website. Additional resources for you guys, um, going to learnaboutring.com uh, provides sales training and technical training. Um, we also have the Ring Partner Program that we'll be launching this year. This product, this is allowing you guys to have a better access to become what we're calling Ring Certified Partners uh, to allow you to go out to the marketplace knowing that you've been um, trained, that you have your certification and your authorization to say, I am a Ring Authorized Partner on ringpartnerprogram.com. You can go in there right now and register for a, uh, for uh, access. And once we finally launch that later this year, uh, we'll be communicating more as time goes on. And then lastly, if your uh, technician is in the van sleeping and you want him to actually do some work, you can have him go to ring.com, youtube.com slash ring, watch some setup videos, how to install things. Um, on the screen as well is a QR code. That is a QR code to our Dropbox folder. That Dropbox folder allows you to see all of the comparison sheets that I reviewed earlier in the day. It allows you to see um, images, um, Ring X-Line logos, a recording of a webinar that we did that covers all this stuff. So if you guys weren't able to make it, um, you could go back at your leisure and see it from our Dropbox link. Um, but of course, ADI will be posting this on their YouTube channel as well later for today.
So point your phone to the screen, snap that, and then be able to access our Dropbox folder. And then kind of our last thing before we kind of open up the Q&A is the Ring X line. This product is not available on ring.com. This product is not available on amazon.com. It's not available on the, on the counters of Best Buy. This product is for you guys. It is available through ADI. It's only available through distribution. So when you're selling this product, when you go to your homeowner and you're doing an install that costs $15,000 and includes um, Sony televisions, it includes you know, Sonos and Eero and Ring, at the end of the job, when you ask for that $15,000 check, and then you can say, oh, by the way, now you're on the hook for $3 a month to ring. With the X line, you raise that average sales price. The retail is about $150 more. Triples the warranty, which allows you to go back and do an over-the-counter exchange if you need to within those three years. Allows them not to have a monthly fee. So you can say, when you hand me this check, you're done. Also gives you a differentiator that you are a ring X line reseller. And this product is for you guys. And we want to come to you in a real and genuine way and provide improvements and um, products that benefit you as an installer and as a small business that you can differentiate yourself from the big box stores. And that's exactly what the Ring X line does. So please email us, contact us if you have feedback, if you have questions. Um, ADI is absolutely there to support you in any ways possible. But if you have it, if you want a direct line access into Ring, Take down our email addresses, email us. You can also email all of us at prochannel at ring.com. So with that, I'm going to leave this open, uh, but I wanted to open up for questions and then open the floor to AJ to allow him to kind of finish this up. Why don't we do AJ first? And uh, if you all have questions, put them into the Q&A box. Uh, Mark and Todd, you were answering some of the stuff in the chat box. Oh, it was only going to the panelists, so you'll use those for questions as well. You guys made me laugh. AJ, the floor is yours. Thanks, Michael. Uh, Rich, appreciate it. Um, and Mark and Todd, I appreciate you joining in today and um, giving, a, giving our customers or potential customers or whoever um, insight to your products. Um, I'd like to thank everybody for joining our webinar today. And again, the guys from Ring for joining us. Um, as Michael just mentioned, if you have any questions or anything you'd like to do in the Q&A, just move your mouse on the screen there at the bottom of the box. You'll see the Q&A. You can click on that and enter any questions you may have. Um, Michael, again, thank you for putting these webinars together for us. I think this has been a great benefit to everybody, customers, vendors, everybody. Um, I'm AJ Shaw. I'm the supervisor over the um, ADI Systems Group team that handles your fire intrusion and home automation products. Uh, we've been part of the ADI family here for over 25 years, um, helping all of our customers with best recommendations, best practices for installations um, of all types. We're here typically 8 a.m. Eastern time to 8 p.m. West um, Central every day to answer your questions. We also have our email uh, that can be found on our website if you would like to email us directly or give us a call. All of that information is listed on our website. Um, our, let's see here. Uh, I can turn this back over to Rich or Mark or Todd or whoever would like to uh, handle all the Q&A questions that they may have. Um, and if there's anything that ADI can do for anybody, please feel free. Give us a call. Reach out to us. We're here for you. Excellent. Thank you. And I uh, did not realize we were responding to back to the panelists. So thanks for uh, calling that out, guys. <laughs> uh, Rich, I'm actually going to turn some of these questions over to you so that you awesome. uh, can just answer them. That's cool with you. So there's one question that came in from Eric uh, with, with regards to our alarm. And he was asking if we function off a of Z-Wave. Yes, in fact, we are actually on the Z-Wave uh, board. So all of our products operate off of Z-Wave Plus. So you're gonna get that same encryption. Uh, and then the, the, I think it's 275 feet of usable, usable range. Um, and all of our product, all of our alarm products operate off Z-Wave. In fact, that also means that the base station is a Z-Wave hub. So when you connect all of your other products, you can connect them, um, door tilt sensors, lights, switches. In fact, in, in my home, I've got a 
uh, old Chicago street lamp in my backyard that I put a Honeywell uh, Z-Wave switch on. So now I can say um, to Alex A, Alex A, turn on the back, turn on the street lamp. And then if it understands me correctly, then it'll turn on the backyard light. And it's fantastic to be able to use that as a Z-Wave hub. And it's also great for door locks, things along those lines, right? I just added a door lock to my house, a Z-Wave based door lock um, inside the Ring app uh, based off our partner program. We can actually open up the door. Uh, we can unlock it. We can do a lot of functionality based right directly inside there. So definitely explore that a little bit more and explore Z-Wave and how the functionality integrates directly within the Ring platform. Yep. And I'll show this to you. Alexa, lock the door. Locking. Hang on. Door is locked. There you go. That's it's that simple. Utilizing, uh, I think I've got a, uh, a Z-Wave lock uh, interfacing with the Ring Alarm. Perfect. Um, there were some questions that came around the lighting transformer. So can you just explain a little bit more about the functionality, how you can use that in the field, and uh, what type of installations you would use it for? Absolutely. So the Ring transformer again, 200 watts, 12 or 15 volt low voltage. LEDs. So you can use LED strips, you can use lights, spotlights, pathway lights, anything that uh, is operating on a low voltage LED, uh, 12 or 15 volt protocol, you can use it. In fact, I've seen one guy use it in his garage lights. He puts strip lighting everywhere and just has a ring transformer. So when he goes out into the garage, uh, he has a sensor that says when the garage door is open, uh, that light will turn on which is pretty fantastic, by the way, uh, being able to have our ring alarm sensors trigger things through Amazon to be able to open those up, turn those lights on. Um, but simply run the wire just as you would an outdoor speaker system, bury the wires, put in the plugs, and then that will power via up to 200 watts. You can add additional transformers. I believe you can add up to 49 additional transformers. That's a pretty massive home, but you absolutely have the capability of, of doing that. And there is no necessarily, I mean, obviously check on your local ordinances, but there's no license requirements outside of a low voltage license to be able to install these lighting systems outside. And then you can augment it. So let's say you're at a pool house and you've got spotlights and you've got pathway lights. And then on the backside near the pool house, there's this impenetrable force of concrete that is the um, back deck. Use the transformer for everything else. And then you can use our battery powered products or our solar powered products to give additional light on the backside without having to add additional labor um, to try to get underneath that sidewalk to get a 16 2 pair out there. So again, the ring transformer is kind of the dark horse uh, of being able to utilize that product and linking it to other devices within the ring ecosystem. It's when a motion detector of any kind, either in the light or in the camera goes off, that light will alert you or that light will come on while it's being recorded. So it's a pretty fantastic product and I believe retail price on it is $99. The appropriate, I believe, coastal source product, and correct me if I'm wrong, coastal source, if you're on the, if you're on the line, um, I believe they have a 350 watt transformer, and that cost is, um, I believe, $400, um, or it might be $350. So for the same price, you can get three additional zones out of the ring transformer, and then have access to turning it on at, at dusk and turning it off at dawn uh, when doors open or when motion is detected, those lights will, will come on, on demand. As well as using Alexa, right? Yeah, absolutely. Pretty amazing. Uh, Todd, I think there was a question that came in that said you wanted to answer live. So we can also turn it over to you to see what that question was. He's trying to find the mute button. You know, I'm not sure which one uh, you were talking about, so I apologize for that. No worries. Um, I believe that's majority of questions. We'll give it a few more minutes to see if any additional questions come in. Um, Rich, is there anything else that you want to kind of discuss and go a little more into while we're uh, while we're waiting? Yeah, there was one question about uh, future products, um, as uh, specifically if there was a security X line 
coming out. Um, I don't talk about uh, future products. I only talk about products that we have actually physical that we're ready to go. Um, so I don't like to talk about it. I never say never. Uh, but additionally, um, we want to provide you guys with a lot of solutions um, that are surrounding the X line. If that is something that is required or something that is needed, by all means, we're going to do whatever we can. Uh, and we've released, how many products have we released so far this year? Um, six new products this year. And we're only halfway through the year. So um, back, uh, if you guys gave us a shot back in 2015, when we just had the one doorbell, from 2015 to now, we've got well over 70 products. And so we're going to continue to innovate and invent for the customer. And I want you guys to be able to keep up to speed and up to date with all of our new inter inter uh, inventions, iterations. And that's only going to go from interacting with your ADI rep, interacting with us, uh, going to the Ring Partner Program so that we can show you what this new products are, how they get installed. Um, the Access Controller Pro, I mean, is a game changer. The, the people that have latched onto it, absolutely love it and they are uh, over the moon to be able to provide a solution at 299 dollars retail that they would have to spend thousands in order to do to have internet access of a gate um, and that product is absolutely to complement the existing access control so if you guys are, are in the business of access control um, please continue to use those hardwired offline products the Access Control Pro is simply a complement to it. So if the network is down or the cell signal, cell tower drought, heaven forbid AT&T goes down, uh, you can still have that hardwired access so your homeowner can gain access or leave access uh, without being reliant on the internet. So it is absolutely a complement to it. So um, go to ring.com slash RACP install. And that, or is it ACP install? I'm sorry, it's uh, ring.com slash ACP install. That'll give you kind of the guideline of how to install it, what it does, the limitations it has, four doors, two wagon control, two relay controls, and then all the other programming is done on our end. Um, so it's a it's a, another sleeper product that I want you guys to see, experience, and latch onto. Uh, and then you can, of course, bundle it with the Elite X Access Controller Pro bundle for, I believe, $699 very, very inexpensive uh, for what it is. Absolutely. Rich, there's a lot of questions that have just come in about HOAs and how we're targeting HOAs or how that, how they can best sell in. Um, so kind of want to go into that. Uh, there's also a question with regards to HOA members and can they access uh, a special group where you can access shared footage? Um, so I'll turn this back over to you and kind of label that a little bit. Yeah, there is uh, a couple of solutions. One, um, HOAs are, are, uh, huge benefit and sometimes a huge burden uh, when it comes to homeowners. Uh, and to be able to group those together, uh, there has been some solutions where the HOA purchases cameras, say for the clubhouse, uh, the pool house, and then will um, send out shared users. Um, from the notifications pane, um, you can access, let me see if I can uh, pull that up really quick and I'll show you. I don't have access to do it um, directly from the screen, but I will go to, um, if you go to the control center within the Ring app, if you guys have it, feel free to follow along. Uh, you can go to shared users directly from there. Uh, and you can see um, the property. And we'll just go to my sample account and I'll, I'll show you in a second when you guys don't see my home address. There we go. Uh, you can see I have managed users. From here, I can add a user and then you simply add email addresses to everyone else and then grant them access to that shared camera. That way they can all access the uh, recordings. They can also all access a live view. So um, one of the great things about having this capability for HOAs and you being the integrator to be able to offer it to them is let's say a day like today that is overcast and you don't know how many people are at the pool before you go, go to the Ring app, check a live view of that door uh, of that pool camera. And you can see that there's 20, 30, 40 people there. And that only is, um, that's managed by the HOA and authorization is managed by the HOA, not anybody else. So that's one thing you can do. As far as getting in, in line with an HOA, by all means, you guys are completely capable of doing that and going through and offering all of that uh, um, discounts or whatever you wanted to offer to install to all the HOAs. I've got a bunch of integrators across the country that will go to an HOA and say, I will offer a discounted install if you purchase all the ring cameras from me. 
And then you simply buy them from ADI, resell them to the HOA or to the homeowner, and then go and install them.